Hey guys, Tanner69046 here, and I'm back with another episode of Tornado Survival Season 7, Episode... Yeah, I haven't, I haven't done one of these in several months, so the odds of me actually knowing the episode are, uh... Yeah, it's not happening, I don't know it. <laughs> so, uh, we're back, and you, know, you may be wondering, you know, why am I back? Well, I don't know. Something happened, I feel like I wanted to do it again. Um, and I made that update video asking if you'd rather have single player or multiplayer. And I'll just show some of the comments on the screen. It was overwhelmingly suggesting single player, which I was really happy about because I was like, I don't know where I'm going to find someone to play multiplayer with. So I'm glad everyone suggested single player and not multiplayer because I'd probably have to do single player anyways, right? <laughs> uh, anyways, <laughs> looking in this world, uh, let's just do a quick fly around. You know, I logged in and I was like, oh man, what? Okay. <laughs> I was looking around and I was like, I kind of like the way this world looks, you know? It's uh, it's not bad. Not a bad little thing we got going on here. I like the windmill, the barn. Um, I think my problem with this world, oh, I don't even have my resource back on. Hold on. Uh, one point oh three D. Ah ha! <laughs> I think my problem with this world is I was entirely too ambitious. I believe. By the way, don't worry. It'll just take five minutes to load in here. Ah, uh, yeah. I think I was too ambitious. Like, I wanted to build a huge underground area for these farms, and that was just dumb. <laughs> like, this is tornado survival. This isn't some. A uh, huge tutorial. Let's play on how to how to Minecraft. You know, that's uh, I could do that in another world if I really wanted to. This this should just be building things and experimenting with the mod and all that. I mean, look at this. Look look at this world. I got <laughs> I got all these shulker boxes. I've got the most OP armor you can get. Uh, oh, hello, bud. Eat uh, my OP sword that I also have, as you can see. And I still get hit really, and he takes three. Okay, anyways, <laughs> yeah. So I feel like I just went over the top, and I got burnt out, as I often do. So I think I think this go around this uh, little period where I record like ten episodes and then take another six month break. <laughs> I'm gonna try to avoid that, but you know it's gonna happen. So might as well prepare yourselves. What I'm gonna try and do is just focus on building, make a beautiful little world, and. uh see if we get any tornadoes and uh enjoy the mod with that so that's that's basically the plan and that's my thinking so hopefully you all can bear with me and we can make that happen and so you're probably going to be wondering what what are we going to do this episode then tanner is you know how are we starting off this little change in the series right uh the first thing i think i want to do <laughs> is I want to build a railway across, across the entire map. <laughs> I know what you're probably thinking. Didn't you try that before? Oh, I'm in the I'm in the water. Get me out. Get me out. <laughs> didn't you already try that before? Didn't that didn't that end season five because you tried to take on that project and it was too big? Well, yeah, but look look at look what we did in this world. Ah, yeah, and it it barely ended. So like, I can probably handle it, right? <laughs> So, yeah, basically my thinking is, right, you know, what makes the series entertaining? Let me break it down for you. Is you get tornadoes, right? Let's say this is the map right here. You get tornadoes, right? Uh, you know, build stuff here, build stuff here, build stuff here. You know, tornadoes all around, you know. Occasionally, one goes through and it'll hit something you build, right? That's the entertaining part is you, you see the destruction of your own your own stuff willingly that's that's what this series is you admire the destruction and so as we spread out the map more and build stuff everywhere the tornadoes have a better chance of hitting stuff we build and a railway that stretches and connects all those places there's a decent chance it'll uh, hit those places so or it'll hit the railway at least so that's just uh, an idea I have and of course I would like to, uh, you know, make a decent looking railway. Uh, how much gravel do we have? Oh yeah, we have tons, don't we? <laughs> There's none in here. <laughs> um, do we not have gravel? Really? Really, really? No gravel at all. What do I use gravel for? Why do we not have any? Do I store it in another chest? 
No, we literally don't have a block of gravel. Like, if I were to shift click this gravel, it goes there. Okay. What about here? Okay, it goes there. And here it goes there. I must have used the gravel for another project. Huh. Anyways, it's still going to be our first project. If we look at our ender chest, where is she at? In here. Hi, chicken. Uh, it's, uh, it's usually right here, isn't it? That's a shame. <laughs> Must be at the other base, which is just incredibly unfortunate. Uh, eh, we'll fly. It's quicker. Uh, we have plenty of iron to do this. I just need to harvest some trees, and then we will be good to go. Oh, it's dark. Oh, okay, I can fly. Wee. So we need gravel. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know where to get gravel at, to be honest. Uh, I guess I have to mine some gravel off camera too. But we'll check in here real quick. Wee. Perfect. Upstairs, maybe there's some gravel in here. Or maybe it's in my ender chest. I was planning to do something with gravel. Okay, read the name of the chest, and then, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, there's some gravel. Okay, because, you know, the way the railway thing is going to go is my thinking is, okay, it'll be like, well, actually, oh, I'm glad I didn't have silk touch. Uh, It'll be kind of built up off the ground like this, and the railway will just sit on top here and it'll only be one block like this is ground level this is the gravel and then this is the railway on top and it'll just be kinda like a cart going around non-stop and I think it'll be cool and we'll have little railway stops at every every so often you know I may even add railcraft who knows <laughs> doubt it but you get the point right that, that's what we're looking at oh the other bed must be in the uh, mob room oh here's an inner chest uh, terracotta, terracotta. What was I doing with all this terracotta? <laughs> oh, I think I went and mined it, didn't I? Yeah, because I have speed mining now. Stone. And yeah, there's the beacon. Yeah, I went and discovered a. Who, 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 who you might call it? <laughs> Got all that terracotta, and I thought, you know, that barn was going to take up more than. <laughs> more than it did. It did not. But yeah, that's the plan. So I'm going to do some collecting, and then we will start on maybe the first railway stop. And then from there, maybe even some of the railway this episode. And of course, if a storm comes along, we will chase it, watch what it does, as we always do. Aha, uh -huh, so I decided for the first episode, instead of building the railway, we're just, railway, we're just going to build the station. One of the first stations, that is. So these stations are going to be pretty similar. I don't I don't know what number the station will be or anything, but um, this is this will be the first one. And uh, I'm just terraforming some land here, so we'll have somewhere to build it. And so, what well, obviously this train is going to go to the other village, which is way over there. Um, we need to. We need to put it going in about right here, right? It's going to come in here and it'll wrap around. Probably go up, maybe even cut through the woods there. Uh, probably have to go over the over the river and swerve around. Might come back around? I don't know. And then when it circles, it'll circle back on the other side of this. And we might put a station over there and a station over there. We'll see how it spaces out. This is going to be the easy one to decide on right now. So that's why we're starting with this one. I haven't completely made up my mind on the other ones, so we we got time to figure it out. Luckily, this uh, this shovel just slices through dirt. Like, imagine how long this would have taken before I had <laughs> all of this. Uh, it looks like it's turning night though, so let's go ahead and sleep. Also, no storms. I haven't even seen a cloud. I'm gotta make sure the mod's working. I mean, obviously it's got items in here but the mods not working that's gonna be a problem so we'll be sure to check into that I'll we'll probably snag that inner ender chest there so we'll have somewhere to just dump all this uh, stuff off at there we go 
And we'll head back over. Whee! <laughs> I love the elytra. It makes everything so much faster. Luckily with this world, something that might allow me to do this series longer is since I've went ahead and <laughs> gotten all this extra extra stuff in the world like the Enderman farm, the elytra, you know, like look, look how quick I can just level out the land here. That just makes building so much easier and so much less time consuming. Like imagine doing this with iron tools, it, it is just nearly impossible. So why we're using <laughs> this uh, decked out OP stuff. Alright. Uh, so, I really want the train to come in like almost right on top of this right here. Almost got it cleared out enough, I think. Definitely got enough on this edge cut off. What we need is a little more, I'm trying to help you all envision this, we need a little more out this way. So yeah, like right to here maybe. And then it'll it'll make a curve right after this stop, so. Ooh, there's a lake here that's interesting. I forgot this was here. <laughs> uh it kinda does flatten things out a little bit more. Anybody want some clay? <laughs> okay. Uh here we go. This should work here. Uh, and then just even the rest of this out. Perfect. And this lasts a little bit. All right, so the train will come about, let's just fill this in as I talk. We'll come in right about that flat area there. And this will just get rid of some extra dirt for us. Like I said, I gotta find a way to see if the tornadoes are gonna spawn or not. They're set at a day, but we already know this mod's kinda broke on that stuff, so. You never know. Uh, so what I was wanting is I'll we'll just use, oh look, gravel. Let's just grab a little gravel here and do a little, little test experiment. It's perfect because we needed gravel anyway, so it shouldn't take too long to collect enough. And close your eyes because you're not going to want to see this. <laughs> and cover it up. <laughs> Uh, I know so many of you that just hate seeing that right there. So if we put the train to come in. Like right in here. You know, the station's going to be on that other side there. So that should work just fine. So yeah, this, the rails will sit on top of this. And then, oh man. <laughs> uh, we need some dirt on our hot bar there. And then like gravel will rest on the sides here and zip <laughs> like so and then we'll do this on the other side yes and this will be our railway track right that's uh that's what we're looking for here right ah uh, we ran out of gravel anyways you get the point so this will be the uh, railway track and we want the station to be here so let's have the station start like right about right at the corner of this right or just one block on the outside we'll have three entryways like this actually this should be probably out a little bit more all right so these will be posts that go up three one two three Three, one, two, three. Perfect. Okay, and then that's what three blocks off of this, so we'll make this just one block off. Because you're we're not gonna have passenger entry from this side, obviously. Because this is just the uh, just the back half of it, so right, like that. And we'll have this go up about three more. Three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. And we'll do something similar over here. Three, one, two, three, one, ah. Three. Oh, by the way, I have no idea what a train station looks like, so. Uh, this is just my best guess. 
Uh, let's get a crafting table down. Then we'll probably do a stone brick roof. Which will be like this. Like I said, similar design all the way around it will be once we do this. And then I was thinking maybe, just maybe, we can do tops like this. Oh yeah, I like this. I like the way it contrasts. It looks good. Um, yeah, that's that's what we're looking for. And then, obviously you want gates, right? You want fence posts and gates. Like that. Yeah, that's how you make your fences. Inventory is getting full, but that's okay. So, these are your entryways into the station. Let's make some more. Mm-hmm, yeah, that's, uh, that's what we're looking for here. And then, kind of, well, obvious, we're obviously getting rid of this floor. Oh, that's the gravel. Let's try not to do that. Okay, so we want the floor. We're going to outline it with this slab stuff all the way up to the track, and then the track will just be left B. Oh, forgot about that. <laughs> uh, we can just fill that in. And like I said, around. And then maybe the floor will just be, uh, be a good old stone, like so. So we just take some stone, fill it in. And we'll want to plant grass in the spots where we uh, dug up. We don't want the stone. We want it to be uh, very clear that the stone here is the floor. Right. So this is the... Uh, I'll do this here, and this will be the walk up. Which I know it's a waste of gravel. You can go ahead and hush right now. I don't care. <laughs> oh, need one more, really. Sorry, we need more for the other side, anyways, right? Did I overdo it? Oh, well. <laughs> right, so. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and do this. Where it. We do it like this. And of course, we do that. And this will just slant up, you know what I mean? So, if we're doing the roof, let's go ahead and craft some more stone bricks. We'll just do like one side right now, you know? Just to stay with the just trying to print it and then I'll finish the rest of the product for you so you go up one and then oh we got dirt okay and then maybe like two like this I don't know how the exact math is gonna come out but go up a little bit more right oh that's not what we're looking for but I do like that idea okay and then like so. That's the idea, I think. That's my idea. <laughs> uh, yeah, that added up right, didn't it? Didn't it? <laughs> mm hmm. Even better. No, 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 never mind. That won't work. Okay, so yeah, if we just do that all along. I think that gives us what we're looking for so let's just okay fall down I guess <laughs> yeah I like that maybe a little lack of color but other than that it's uh it's looking good it's looking good so I think I'll fill in the rest and then show you all the finished product and that should be the episode so be right back Oh man, it's looking good guys, it's looking good. I just did some finishing touches 
And this is just going to be an idea so far as to so what you can expect with this thing. And uh, why don't we just add a few decorative buttons while we're at it. Okay, that should do it. Okay. And just like that. Now, yeah, those buttons won't serve any purpose, obviously, but man, is this thing looking pretty snazzy, I think, for a train station. Uh, we got some lighting in here. Uh, it does get a little dark, but we're going to work on that. I think we'll put some lights under the tracks as well. And uh, yeah, I think I think this is going really good. If you got any suggestions for this build, let me know. Uh, I'll show you from a distance too, of course, what this baby's looking like. Um, oh, that is a little fast to be coming in there. Okay, so if we just go here, turn around. There's a tree blocking most of it. But there it is. And imagine, you know, a railway going from miles that way and then miles that way. There's still some couple things we need to do, like in a path to like obviously extend out, and then this shouldn't be grass. This should be more of an entryway. But yeah, I, I like the way it's it's uh, looking here. Let's so imagine this, you know, all the way there and then all the way there. You know, having these at different spots, I think it'll be I think it'll be good, especially with the uh, a minecart constantly going on it. But yeah, I think that's gonna do it for this first episode back. Hope you all enjoyed. Like, comment, and subscribe. If you did, give me any suggestions. As always, um, I'll figure out why no storm spawned too. Uh, definitely weird, but yeah, I'll be sure to look into that. Um, hopefully, you get these out somewhat frequently. Not too frequently. I'm uh, I have work and school, so like I stay pretty busy. But yeah, that's uh. That's pretty much it for this. Oh, wait, what if we come in from this angle? And with that ugly ravine there. One more. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I think it'll look good with a... A full uh, rail system in there. But yeah, like I said, that's going to do it. I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.